Hello guys, my name is Kaya Bologna. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. Um, I'm kind of in like a little creative block right now. So I figured that we would just sit down and get ready for work and just do a little chit chat together. Cause that just seemed like nice and fun and kind of easy, honestly, if you want me guys to be completely honest. I was originally supposed to work at like 10 a.m. today and my boss texted me and she was like, will you actually work closing instead? And I was like, yes, please. I love to close. I like that I like don't have to wake up early is my favorite thing. Honestly, it's like such a little blessing. Um, what I'm using right now is the Bobbi Brown Eye Base. I think it's called Enriched Eye Base. And it's just like a primer for your under eyes. Can go on the lid too, but I don't really. It's just supposed to brighten over time and it has like grapefruit extract, so it's supposed to depuff, I think. I don't know, I just use it. How have you guys been? I am so stressed out right now. I'm not really that stressed, but I have Strange Creek coming up this week. I literally leave this Thursday and I have nothing packed. I haven't even started packing, which I guess is good because the next video I want to film is packing for Strange Creek but I have nothing packed and that's okay. Um, also I'm getting my hair done the day I leave and then my I'm going out to lunch that day too and then I have to get everything and pack it in the car. But everything will work out fine, it always does. I'm just slightly stressed out. But that's usually a pretty normal occurrence for me. I feel like I'm always stressed out lately. This is the Smashbox Resurfacing Smooth and Renew Primer. It's like a glycolic acid. I do have like a lot of new products that I've been using lately, but like I'm very fortunate where I'm in the position where I don't have to buy them. Like I get them for working at an Ulta Beauty. So that's why I always have new stuff. I don't know. I feel like this has just been a week already and I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I'm going out tonight. Um, there's like this Mexican restaurant near me called Tito's and they throw like these banging parties on Saturdays. And me and my sister go pretty much every week. And like this is like our last hurrah before Strange Creek. So we're bringing out all of our friends and it's just gonna be super fun. This is the ABH, I think it's called the Beauty Bomb. Yeah, Beauty Bomb. And this is in shade four. I love this stuff so much. It's literally so easy to use. I like go in and then I personally blend it out with a brush and then I also go in with a sponge. But I like this stuff because it literally just looks like your skin. And I love it. And it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. That's kind of the look I've been into right now. Is like, I do, like, I kind of have to wear makeup for what I do. But I like to feel like I'm not wearing makeup. That's my favorite. I feel like I've just been everywhere all at once constantly lately. And like, in that aspect, it is what it is. But like, I just feel like I kind of need to slow down. You just slow my roll, just a little bit. I just mean go, 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 which is like how I always am. But it's starting to get to the point where I'm like, okay, like, I need to relax. So, like, after Strange Creek, I do have, like, the whole week off, which is really nice. And then in, like, the first week of June, I think I'm going to this party in New York City. So I'll probably bring you guys along for that. And then June is pretty much a chill month for me. And then at the end of the month, I'm going back to New York City for Pride Parade. I think that would be really, really fun. Obviously, you guys would be coming with me. I just think that would be really fun this year. This is Tarte Shape Tape. I hate that I use this still, but I do kind of like it. This was my diamond gift last year, so I bought, I didn't buy it. I don't know. I just want to do a bunch of adventures this year. And I think that would be really fun. Sorry if you can hear that, somebody's mowing um, one of my neighbors. Also lately, I've been cutting my concealer like right here and then I blend it upwards and I really liked that a lot. I just feel like it makes it look a lot less cakey and it brightens so much more compared to like one little section. So I think it blends in a lot easier. I don't know, I've kind of just been switching it up lately and I've really enjoyed that. I say that, but like I really kind of haven't. And also I love that, you know? I am such a sucker for a brush and sponge. So I just go in with a brush first and then I always blend out with a beauty blender. 
I'm just a lover because like it's just blend, blend, blend. I feel like I haven't had any time to talk lately and I'm like blah 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 and then I'm like quiet for 20 minutes and then I'm like blah blah blah. But honestly, I really just like need to take things a little slower and like really need to figure out where I'm going. Because honestly, I'm 21 and I don't want know what I want to do with my life and that is okay. Honestly, that's such a blessing because my whole life I was like, I'm going to graduate high school, I'm going to go to Johnston Wales and then I'm going to open a bakery and I'm going to cook for the rest of my life. And then I got into this point in my life where I was like, I can't do that. That's just not realistic for me. I love to cook, but I don't know if I could do it again as a job, which is like, you know, that's fine. So like I had to go through this whole process of like restarting my life and figuring out what I wanted. And I literally like left school and then came back to like where I was born and raised, which is pretty much primarily in Massachusetts where I am now. And then I found the job that I have now. I started as like a base level associate and now I'm like in management. And honestly, like I've gotten to this point where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Like, I just feel like I'm wasting so much time. But at this point, I don't really have a plan. I don't know what I want. I don't, and that's okay. That is a thousand percent okay. I think my plan right now is just to save a bunch of money and then just like travel and stuff. It's like I have a lot planned this year, but I also just like kind of want to just do things and go places and just live. <sighs> like that's what I want to do. Cause it's all about doing whatever truly makes you happy. And I think that's the most important thing. We're all also living life for the first time. So it's not like we've ever been through this before. And that's also so okay. I'm honestly so happy with the life I currently have. And I'm very proud of myself. And it's not that I want more, right? It's not that I want more. Like I make, like everything I do is a lot. What I want is something different. But honestly, in this moment, right? Like let's say nothing changes for the next two years. I don't know, I'd be pretty content with that. Like I think I could like handle that. I just like don't want to do what I do currently for forever. Like, you guys, like, if I could do this all day, every day, I would in a heartbeat. But it's like, I almost don't, I don't give it my 100, and I do know that. And, like, a part of me is very disappointed in that fact most of the time. And it's like, I do. Like, I really want to put in the effort for you guys because I love this, and I really care. And it's like, I just don't realistically know what the next step in this is. And that's okay. It's like, right? I did all that. I created a podcast and then I literally stopped posting. And like, at first it was because I was so exhausted. And now I go week after week without posting. And I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, why am I not posting? And it's like, honestly, guys, I'm just in a little rut right now. And I really need to get my stuff together. And I need to figure it out. And I need to just put in the work. Because A, I love it. Like, I love what I do with you guys and like YouTube and like podcasting, but it's like, I almost like act like I don't care and like, especially in action. And that's not fair because that's a not going to get me where I want to be and be like, that puts me in a place where I'm kind of disappointing you guys. And that's not okay. And it's not fair. And like, am I a little hard on myself? Absolutely. But that's also like, if I'm not I grew up in like a position where like I kind of had to raise myself like I have an older sister but she's 10 years older than me so by the time I was like in high school she was pretty much gone so like I've been put in this position where I kind of had to like raise myself and like my entire life I've always gotten oh you act so much older you act so much older yeah it's a trauma response and like I have to be hard on myself like I've always had to be that person because I don't have anyone else. Like I do. But like you know what I mean? So it's like that's why I'm so hard on myself. But also sometimes I need to remember that I am human. And it is okay. Everything is okay. Everything will work out. And I truly believe that. And I truly believe that it always does. I'm sorry. I went on like a whole tangent with you guys. That's my favorite though. I love a good tangent. I love a good blah blah blah. This is my ColourPop blush. And it's actually one of my favorites. It's in Swirled. I love this one. 
You guys have probably seen me use it like a thousand times. I wore mascara yesterday, and I feel like every time I wear mascara, it kills me. <gasps> like, it's just such a pain to take off. And I don't always love that, and that's okay. I love this. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and they repackaged it so it's not in a squeezy tube anymore, and I love it. I also just think it makes everything last so much longer. That's the thing about eyeshadow primer, is it really does. For the longest time, I used to use concealer as eyeshadow primer. Not that it doesn't work, but I just think actually buying an eyeshadow primer always works a little bit better. I'm going to go in with this little palette. This is the Hydra FX palette from SUVA Beauty. I actually got this in a Morphe store at the American Dream Mall in Jersey. Uh, right before all of the Morphe stores got closed because it was actually one of my goals to go to a Morphe store My you, most used colors are always um, Pink and purple and then the blue because they're like these gorgeous like neons I'm feeling a little crazy today. I think I'm gonna use the yellow. I Really like this palette because it is like a water base like you use water to activate it and then they like Set really nicely. I love these kinds of palettes and they like go on super nice. It like paints so well. I'm sorry, that was such a sloppy swatch. Sloppy swatch. I don't know what the vibes are. I'm thinking just draw and find out. I'm never good at like symmetricals. So we're really just going for it and seeing what happens. That's kind of like what makeup is at the end of the day. It's just all about playing and like just having fun. Whether it's even or not, I guess it never really matters. Also like, I don't know, I work in makeup so I can always be like, I'm right, you're wrong. I don't know. I just think it's all about having fun, realistically. And nothing else really matters. And that is like so okay. I'm also feeling going in with this green, even though you guys know I have this thing with green, so we're going to do that, see what happens. I love that. It looks so rad. You know what I really want to do? I'm going to go in with the bottom of a brush, like put it in here, and then do little dots. Yeah, baby! That looks... I look so cool. I just really like having fun. That's kind of like what my life is all about, in my personal opinion. Like, life's too short to not have fun. Do I think this looks fun and crazy, and everybody I know is probably going to either love it or hate it? Absolutely, and that is so okay. I don't know if you guys can see it, because I know the camera doesn't pick up these colors too, too well, but I think it looks pretty cool. Today is just kind of like, I'm just trying to be chill and have fun. That's the bit for me. Oh, I forgot. I have this yellow glitter in my LA Girl palette. So I'm probably going to use some of this. These, like, full-on glitter palettes are some of my favorite, and I feel like they're so hard to find. So if you guys, like, find any, you should, like, send them to me on Instagram and stuff. That would be awesome. I love. I love. Oh, yeah, and this yellow is perfect because it has some, like, green sparkles in it. I'm literally just putting it on a dry brush and then scooping it under. So that it gives like this really cool underlie effect. And then I'm also just going to stick some on the inside too, like in the outer corner. It's giving fun. It's giving rave. It's giving, I'm here to have a good time. I probably will bring this palette to Strange Creek because it just seems like so useful. It's very multi multifaceted. I'm going to take a pause and get in my work outfit. Okay, guys, I am officially all ready for work. This is my outfit. It's this Juicy Couture like pleather skirt and then just like a black t-shirt. Um, and I'm gonna wear my like black work boots. But I love you guys so much. It was really nice to be able to sit down and just chit chat with you guys today. And I hope you had fun with me. I love you all and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.